The sounds of sirens sounds all too familiar around northeast Wisconsin tonight as a line of fast-moving storms moved quickly through the area. The storms triggering some severe weather. Wind strong enough to damage this house in Winnebago County near Winchester. And other homes have also been damaged by the storms. Hundreds of customers, in fact, lost power. Severe weather coverage tops tonight's late edition of Fox 11 News at 9. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for staying up with us late tonight. Late because our live storm coverage pushed back programming in the airing of American Idol and Glee. And now complete coverage of what kind of night it's been. Not a whole lot of rain, but a lot of pretty much everything else. We have several crews out tonight, and we begin with where the damage appears to have been the worst, and that would be the Winnebago County community of Winchester, where a number of homes and trees were damaged. The Sheriff's Department says a truck-mounted camper was flipped over in nearby Larson. Fox 11's Lindsay Veramus was in the Winchester area west of the Fox Cities earlier tonight, and Lindsay joins us now from our Valley Newsroom. Good evening, Lindsay. Good evening, Tom. People living in Winchester and the town of Clayton, where that reported tornado touched down, say they heard sirens around 7.15 and just seconds later saw that reported tornado racing towards them. Damage was primarily on the 4700 block of Grandview Road in the town of Clayton near Winchester. Sections of roofing littered front yards and firefighters worked steadily to repair a large hole the tornado punched in this home's roof. A trailer was turned on its side and numerous branches littered the road. Roadway. Uh, about going about 80 miles an hour coming up the hill, just uh, with hail and, and uh, heavy rain, all I could do is get to my front porch before it hit, and uh, the whole house shook. That sounded like a freight, car, freight train, just a classic way that you hear them. Now, we also spoke with a Wisconsin storm chaser. He was following the storm, driving about two miles east of Winnicani along US 45 when he caught the storm on tape. I think this is this seems to be the major area of damage that I know about in uh, Winnebago County. I don't know what's happened uh, downstream here over the lake and so forth. Emergency management officials say there were about 15 properties damaged, but no reported injuries. At this time, they are asking people to stay away from roads on in Clayton and the town of Winchester. Lindsay, quick question for you tonight, because you were out in the storm. What did you guys feel? I know sometimes the news vehicles we drive are a little top-heavy and are tough to get through the wind. Was it uh, pretty powerful? Well, it was a bit breezy, Tom, but the rain was primarily what we noticed. It just seemed pretty consistent, but not too much wind at that point. All right, Lindsay Vermas live in the Fox Cities tonight. Thanks very much. All right, thanks very much. Moving on, just moments ago, we received some home video from a view that was reported uh, a tornado in Winchester. Now, check out this video again, just coming into us. This is home video that was sent into us by Scott Reel of Winchester. Scott says this video was shot about a mile east of Highway 45 and Highway 10's intersection. The video was shot facing south so you can see just some eerie looking clouds look at how dark black those are oh my goodness certainly something that uh, was the story this evening the severe weather and there were a number of tornado sightings in our area chief meteorologist patrick powell joins us now with more on this weather and patrick what do you make of that well that looked obviously like a tornado probably an f0 f1 tornado but obviously we would need the national weather service to go out and complete a damage survey before we knew exactly how strong that was. Right now, scattered rain showers still lifting north to northeast across the area. There are more scattered showers and a few thunder showers mixed in back to the west, but the severe threat is over for now. This is what came through earlier today. You can see the intense storms moving through the area this evening, but look at this. That little fine line that kind of backs up away from Green Bay. That's a lake breeze that's bringing in some cooler air right on the north side of a very strong warm front that was moving across the area. So we got easterly winds at the surface trying to back up off of the cooler waters of Lake Michigan. Storms moving in from the west. And as you can tell at the end of this radar loop, watch the storms lift up towards the north, telling us that the mid-level storms, the mid-level rotation was kind of coming in 
from the, the uh, south. So we had winds coming from different directions, and this is where we ended up with the severe weather path and the funnel cloud and tornado reports from this evening, basically right across the Appleton, Nina, Menashe area, and then extending out towards Manitowoc and Kewanee County, basically right through the central parts of our viewing area. These are some of the reports that have already kind of come in and been confirmed or gone through. Wind damage report from Myola, the tornado report obviously from Winchester, a number of other tornado reports and funnel cloud reports that I think are still being sifted through across uh, southern Ottagami, northern Calumet, northern Manitowoc, and the southern portions of Kewanee County. We did have a lot of funnel cloud reports coming in fast and furious through the evening hours. We'll have more on this coming up in a little bit. Michelle? Thanks, Patrick. Well, now, the first tornado sighting was in the Kimberly area. That's where Fox 11's Ryan Dietz joins us now for that part of the story. And uh, whether it was a tornado or just a funnel cloud that never quite made it to the ground, that's still to be determined, perhaps. What, if any, damage have you seen, Ryan? Well, Tom, there hasn't really been a whole lot of damage here. I'm at Kimberly High School, which was really, like Patrick said, in the center of this storm. And right now it's almost back to normal, just wet streets and really no wind. We talked to some people over at the Quick Trip gas station across the street, and they say for a period of time the storm was pretty scary. But we were told to uh, actually close down the store, which actually has, I don't believe has ever happened before. So uh, we kind of weren't sure what to do. Um, all of it, just pouring rain everywhere, just every single thing. We could see lightning, thunder, sheets of rain, everything. Our street was at least six inches underwater. I talked to authorities at Audigami County Emergency Management as well as Calumet County Emergency Management, and they said there really wasn't a whole lot of damage besides maybe one tree down. But Calumet County Emergency Management Director did tell me that they are very thankful that all this is over. Live in Kimberly, Ryan Dietz, Fox 11 News. As both Ryan and Becky have mentioned, not only a wind event and a rain event, but also a power event. At one point tonight, a couple of thousand customers around the area had lost power. That number is down now to a few hundred. In our immediate area, Oshkosh is the main area struggling with power. As of a few minutes ago, 300 customers still in the dark. Hundreds of other customers, particularly in Wapaka and Sturgeon Bay, have their lights back on. Now, we've talked about the winds and the tornado sightings tonight. The storm also dropped a lot of rain in the area. Patrick is back to let us know just how much rain we received tonight. Well, it was really the central and western portions of the area that got the brunt of the rainfall. Sometimes it's deceiving because it comes down so quickly that it starts to accumulate very fast. Uh, Watoma picked up only eight hundredths of an inch, and then Shawano at 31 hundredths, Green Bay at 29 hundredths, Clintonville picking up almost two-thirds of an inch, and that came down in a very short period of time. Here's a look at the radar estimate of rainfall, and you can see a little spike here running right through uh, northern sections, uh, running to the Wapak area, and then it kind of fizzled out a little bit, another intense portion just to the west of two rivers. But most of the area picked up, say, a quarter to a half an inch of rain with higher amounts coming in inside the individual thunderstorms that kind of train. And we are going to see more rain during the overnight hours, but right now it doesn't appear that we have much of a uh, threat from flooding. Tom, Michelle. All right, Patrick, thanks. The line of storms that push through the lakeshore, well, they also, Pat, rather push through the lakeshore communities as well. Yeah, it's the last one to hit the lakeshore, and then the lakeshore is usually the last one, in this case, to be clear. Fox 11's Becky DeVries is live in Manitowoc County tonight with some webcam technology. And, Becky, what have you seen of the storm's finish there? Well, Tom, the storm is indeed finished here. You can see it's not raining. Uh, still some wet pavement, definitely. But for the last three hours or so, myself and a photojournalist have been traveling throughout the area, covering really a four-county area, taking a look at the different areas where the storm has traveled. Take a look at some of this video here. This was shot near Freedom in Brown County. You can see the rain was really coming down. Driving on Highway 41 uh, was part of our travels tonight. It was very intense. Uh, our news truck, as well as many other vehicles on the road, slowed down. Uh, not only because of the rain, but also because the wind was very, very strong. And we were not only in Brown County, but we were also in Outagamie, Calumet, and Manitowoc counties as well. I talked to various agencies throughout the areas and have come across no reports of storm damage. Again, covering a four-county area. Uh, driving was treacherous earlier. Things have definitely settled down and no major reports of storm damage in Brown, Outagamie, Calumet, and uh, Manitowoc counties tonight. Live in Manitowoc County, Becky DeVries, Fox 11 News.